Look at this guy's another rainy day. I could probably go and clean up this mess. The air's too damp to go and repaint these, but it is a good day to start on a new review. Look at this, Team Associated dropping a new Datsun 620 on the Apex 2 chassis. I haven't seen a Datsun 620 around here and I don't know how long. They don't really survive here on the East Coast, but these are awesome looking mini trucks. Can't wait to pop open this kit and take a closer look. All right guys, I saved you from the ASMR unboxing sounds. Got the truck here on the bench and I'm really excited about it. I said we needed more street trucks. Remember back when I reviewed the Kyosho Tundra? Let me just grab it up from off the wall here. I had a blast with that truck and I said we needed more street trucks and now Team Associated has given us this classic Datsun that tuners absolutely love in the real world. They do some crazy stuff to these. But the AE crew did a great job on this truck. The only thing is they didn't make it look like the box art. They do give you the decals in the box so you can go and put the fender flare decals on, the lip spoiler decals. And you know what, while we're over here, let's check out the stuff that's also included in the box, the XP120 radio system, fine plug. You got your instruction manuals for the car, the radio system, the ESC, and then they have this bag of extra parts. And what I noticed about this is they give you the receiver box. And what's interesting about that is, is that's the receiver box setup that's in the Hunicorn here. And that actually has a different chassis. I was looking at the chassis on the Datsun and it's different from the last time I reviewed an Apex on the channel. So you definitely wanna stick around I'll tell you about the changes, but let's get back to this body set here. They've got a molded front grille. That's very cool. It's got openings for LED lights, but they're not included. I like the mirrors on the fenders. Just such a cool look for this truck. And then out back, there's a molded spoiler on the tailgate. That's a plastic spoiler, not a Lexan spoiler. It is a licensed body, licensed by Nissan. The rear bumper is just a decal, and those are just decal taillights. But we've got wipers, I love the lower lip spoiler, and then these wheels. They're bronze turbine wheels, and they're wrapped in a street rubber tire. And behind the wheels, they have fake brake discs and calipers. But overall, that's a really cool look. Now let's take a look at the chassis. And at a quick glance, it does look like the Hunicorn, but they may Made some changes to the chassis itself. This is now a composite chassis tub where the Hoonicorn had a fiberglass lower plate with some uh, composite side plates. So that's a major change to this. And I, I actually like the way it's set up now. The chassis itself seems pretty rigid. This new setup allows us to use a battery tray where you could use a shorty pack by simply taking out this insert or you could use a standard pack like a 5,000 milliamp pack and stand it up secure it with the Velcro straps. So that's pretty cool. And then because they have the new chassis plate, they also have new upper braces in the front and in the rear. Uh, what I like about these new braces is one, it secures the clips really well so there's no flex in the chassis, but they also have a through hole here in case you need to get to the set screws and the out drives for some reason. There's a foam front bumper for protection. They've got deposit shocks, dual wishbone suspension, fixed links like we've seen before on the Apex 2, and pretty much the rear mimics the front, which is good for parts support. You've got one set of arms that will fit anywhere on this car. And then the drive line is a double diff setup. You got a front diff, a rear diff. I bet by the way it feels, it's just filled with grease from the factory. And then metal gears on the inside, uh, steel out drives, steel dog bones, but they do have bushings on the outside, steering knuckles at all four wheels. So you might want to grab a ball bearing kit for this at some point. Then I noticed with this one, for some reason, the center dog bone has a lot of play in it. So I'm not actually excited about that because that's a composite out drive there. The Hornicorn didn't have that issue. Uh, but over here to the motor plate setup, I like how you could go and take the motor assembly out, set the pinion gear on an idler gear that's also fixed to the motor plate. But getting to that is a little difficult taking this top plate off. And when I did, I noticed what I thought was a center diff, but it's actually locked out from the factory. Finally, let's talk about the electronics in this. They have a standard metal geared servo, the Reedy SC 500 XB controller with a T plug on it. It does two to three S and they actually have a program card for it if you want to go and tweak the settings in it. And then a five 50 15 turn three slot motor for power. Pretty sweet looking truck, right? I'm gonna show you how it runs as soon as it stops raining. Now. Now it's time to see how this thing performs. I've got a 3S pack in it and let's punch it. Look at that. That thing's got some rip to it. Nice. Let's tighten things up a bit and check out the steering. 
It's a little on power push, but man, it's totally controllable. Definitely a full on power push as you would expect. Let's roll off the throttle. Look at that. That's awesome. Let's round off the turn a bit. Oh yeah. This thing is pretty dialed. Punch it off the line. Nice. I mean, I absolutely love mini trucks, guys. My brother had a couple S10 mini trucks that he lowered. So I always had something for mini trucks. This is awesome. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Just pull right out of that power slide. Just punch it, yeah. You know, I had a great time with the Hoonicorn. This thing is just as much fun. And I was jumping the Hoonicorn. Here we go, guys. Speed test time with the Datsun. We'll hit track, start. And I've got a 3S pack in here. Send it down, nice and easy. That's probably enough. We'll spin it around and roll into it. Oh, I was expecting a little more, but hey, that's actually pretty quick. Wow, all right. Let's see what we got here. It sounds really good on a 3S pack. Stop, read, 29. Oh, that's good. Let's just give it one more run. Roll into it. That thing tracks nice and straight. That's good speed on a 3S. For a brush system, yeah, I like that. Stop, read. 29 again. So that's your top speed on a 3S pack with a brush motor right out of the box. I have to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this mini truck and beyond just the looks of it, the actual performance in the parking lot. I've driven the Apex 2 chassis before with the Hoonicorn, but that was mostly in a skate park and I was really thrashing on that thing. Here, I was able to really concentrate on it in a parking lot and I can't believe how well it handles. It's really well balanced. You know, with some ready to run cars, you can kind of feel it torquing a bit to one side or just the rear and skating around but this thing is pretty planted and in the corners it works really well too there's a bit of understeer but of course i was doing a lot of high speed turns and you're going to get some understeer with that but it was just a lot of fun and controllable it wasn't spinning out and if it did spin out i was able to just punch the throttle and the thing just hooks right up and goes so as far as being a drivable street truck it's on point it's a fast truck too as you guys saw we hit 29 miles an hour with it and for a three ice pack with a brush system i think that's pretty respectable and i think it's actually a good speed for this truck because i've got three packs through it so far and it's pretty much shredded the tires so that's the downside of this car it's going to wear through the tires pretty quick they're slicks right now and i'll just burn these off so you know it's a good truck you're just probably going to go through tires with it and eventually yes you're probably going to want to go and upgrade those bushings to ball bearings i'll have a link for those in the video description below to help you guys out but it's a really cool looking truck i know there's a fan base for these things and i'm really happy that team associated picked up on it and recreated it in this really cool ready to run. I'll have links for it in the video description below.